All right, in this particular belay rope, we're going to use two prusiks that we're going to put triple wraps. And to do that, we want one to be slightly shorter than the other. As you see, I have two different lengths here. The long one is going to be in front, so we want to fly it to our rope, triple wrap. There's one in triple wrap form. Then we're going to fly our shorter one closest in. Once we have our prusets dressed down, we're going to snap them in. And now I'm going to mine this by keeping my hand on the, the, the two uh, triple wrap prusiks and feeding the line just as our repeller is going down. Now, if Matt were to fall, if our repeller were to fall, I could simply allow these to, to lock up, which the rope would come down, lock in place, and I have a primary and a secondary that would be grabbing hold of the belay line, and that way keeping the rescuer in place. The great thing about this is at this point, if it locks in, the load is up here where I'm in a safe, controlled environment. I could put on some type of system to pull the weight back up and get him back started where we could release these. So this is a much safer system than actually using the single rescuer belay when they're on just one rope. And we're also providing a secondary rope, which we call our belay line.